It has been previously stated that you can see the development of Florence from space. That is how well developed Florence is in 1431. You can see our capital here, 53 development, 30, 38, 30, 30, 17 in a province that was recently conquered and also developed. So yeah, we're gonna be doing pretty good here as far as development goes. I think this is kind of the definition of tall play. Uh, our force limit is going up almost faster than we can even build. All great things are happening, guys. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. Please take a second, leave a comment down below. Tell me about your day. Find another comment as well. And actually speak to somebody in the comments and say, say something about what they said about their day, right? Let's have a conversation. I want you guys to be friendly and to be loving to each other because I love you and I am your father. Or maybe I'm not your father, but I want you to be friendly and love each other. Either way, guys, welcome back to extended family or expanded family of mods here in EU4. We are playing as Florence and uh, it has been about 30 years and we are working our way through some ideas as well as some technology. You can see here we are 19 years ahead of time on admin, six years ahead of time on Diplo and Mill. Um, and we're basically locked into having a 666 leader for the rest of the game and we're getting a ton of free mana. That was Mill that time around, which is incredible because we need that. Construction time in Fort Defense. And uh, yeah, we can take this Diplotech whenever we feel like it. Um, admittedly, I'd rather not take it right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just continue to sink some mana into production. Because all that mana we're making, all that m mana we're spending is going directly into goods produced, which we are then collecting. And uh, speaking of, we need to make sure that we are um, building up our galley fleet here. So let's build up our galley fleet here. And then, um, they're not galley, light ship fleet, so we can start uh, steering or collecting a bit more trade. Uh, you can see here, there's a, quite a bit of trade that we need to be consolidating around here. This province we took over here, not as useful because it's over in Venice. What I really want is, oh my gosh, I was spying on these guys. I meant to be improving relations with them. Nobody saw that. I'm sure people were screaming about it at the end of the episode because I didn't realize it. So also what you can do here, if you want to improve relations with these guys a little bit extra, Put that guy on there, and there you go. It will give you a little bit of extra improved relation. And then if you come over here, you can see, all right, is Genoa steering from here? Genoa is indeed steering from here. So you go to hostile trading, and then you can see, instead of, uh, let me see here. Um, let me go here. 1.27, it will go up to 1.24 per month. Very solid. You don't need to click that button. That is a terrible modifier. I never use it. Just makes your armies cost more. Not worth IMO. You know, I could definitely go with some cheaper advisors. This guy's already very cheap. Look at that. Level 3 for 2.2 or 2.5 ducats a month. Let's go ahead and uh, get some cheaper advisors. I don't care. I mean, stab cost is one of those things. We're so far ahead on admin mana. There's no reason not to. Look at that. It's a level 2 guy for 1 ducat a month. Safe to say our mana situation is going to be good for the rest of the game. We're making 15, 13, 13. We also need to be focusing on mill. That way we can push through mill tech. And uh, we may be able to finish this, but I want to make sure we're still able to get our innovativeness. So uh, if we can take tech ahead of time, we're going to take it ahead of time. So let's take a look at our missions and see where we're looking at here. So uh, base production of at least 15 in all of our provinces. So one more there, two more there. And uh, that does that mission. Very good. And that will give us uh, one goods produced in all of these provinces for the rest of the game. In the event, Florentine cloth as well as some prestige. So what does Florentine cloth? Cloth will be produced in Florence instead of silk. Um, let's see here. What is cloth? Cloth is three and silk is four. That doesn't seem good. That's a downgrade, right? We're producing a very large chunk of the world's silk right here in this province as well. And what what is the uh, the provincial modifier here? Does it say? Shouldn't it say? I'm going to stick with no. It doesn't seem appropriate. Again, a conquest CB on Ravenna? Really? Interesting. Intervene in independence war, huh?
Who's independent? Who's declaring independent? Not sure. Who you guys got? What's going on over here? Humiliate rival would be good, but I don't want to do that. So, first of all, we need to get our relations up with these guys for our nobility. I believe it was. We'll be able to click this button again in two years, and we can do that. Let's have our navies popped out and uh, have them go and protect some trade in Genoa. And that'll just bump up our trade a little bit. We can still get engineering ideas. So, you know what? If, if we're getting innovativeness from this, I don't need the innovativeness from this. So, I will get my innovativeness from these ideas as well as uh, the last one bit from uh, Diplo, I assume. Here we go. Get these guys also protecting trade in Genoa. Bust up, bump up our trade a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Very solid. And uh, now I'd like to start um, collecting or protecting or what's the word I'm looking for? Working our way towards um, getting Santa Maria upgrade. Also, lads, take a second and leave a comment down below. Who is the man who designed the Santa Maria del Fiore? I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know. I know his name. Do you know his name? Very important. Um, Yeah, honestly, none of these are particularly useful. That's fine. I mean, re-election cost is never a bad thing. But our um, national ideas, Max, are paired with our uh, our um, unique age objective is really good for us. Okay, we need to get our, get our stuff here. So these guys are not at 100. They will ally me, so I will ally them. That will finish that mission there. And uh, we get a level 3 diplomat. Well, that's actually fine, but we already have a level 3 guy as well. That's actually, he's a level 4 even. He's a level 3. He's a level 3. So that's probably fine. Now I should really start saving up for our money. Saving up for our advisor, rather. Let's take a look at trade. Um, we could probably steer a bit more from Ragusa. Let's see here. Let's have these guys steer trade from Ragusa and then go home at war. Let's well, these guys go home at war. And that might steer a little bit more into our node, possibly. All right. So I want to attack these guys. Austria will help them. So we're going to have to figure out how we want to do this. Austria would join me if I attack these guys. That'd be a really good cover war. Issue is, is that it would call in quite a few people. These guys are not allied to anybody useful. So let's get some spy network on them. Yep, the hostile trading is working for both of them as well, which is really good. Uh, realistically, I will get a claim on all three of these provinces over here. So we can take all three of them from Genoa. We'll see. Just like that, you can see here. Take that tech. Take this. And now we're at 100% innovativeness. It's incredible. That's actually nuts. Um, we're not going to have the uh, value cannon in time for the war, but that's okay. So let's see here. Yeah, Austria would join. So basically, I just can't let Austria join. That's the major thing. Also, is it true that Geneva, for their finishing idea, gets um, like ship durability or something like that? We, I was talking to Artemis about it, like uh, the man who makes our UI mods, and he was talking about that, and I thought that was very funny. I think I'd heard it before, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't sure. So basically, I'm just pushing for 20 war score against these guys, or 20... Um, 20 spy network is what I'm trying to say. Oh, you know the thing. Have you guys protect trade in Genoa? Go home at war. Those guys are protecting. Our general is dad, unfortunate. Free money or free mana as well as army tradition. Very good. You guys remember when I rolled a 75 tradition uh, general and he was literal poo poo? I remember. An elephant never forgets. I cannot even comprehend how much mana we're making as well. It's nuts. 
Um, Pisa manpower. Let's go with the production in Siena. There you go. Now let's switch these guys back to trade power and switch this guy off. Let's save us a little bit of money there. Look at that. Up to 16 ducats a month we're making a trade. Yeah, we'll be able to upgrade the Santa Maria very soon. All right, let's have these guys not... Okay, let's get a claim here. Let one day go by. Call in Austria and might as well call in Pope Man. Well, actually not Pope Man. I have no diplomat to spend, so I can recall him. Now, the reason why I want to call in Austria, this might seem like total overkill, but the reason why is because Austria will not be able to join in on their allies' war over here. Oh, shoot. I'm allied to the Emperor in a war. I knew that. Oh, well. That's, that's unfortunate. I actually didn't even think about it. It's not a big deal, though. It, like, just ruins my plan, but that's all. We'll still be able to annex these guys, so no big deal. And honestly, what I should probably do is uh, have Austria annex Trent as well. There's like less tags that could join a coalition against us. You got to be thinking ahead about that stuff. AE is uh, definitely going to be growing. Austria is calling us in. Hmm. Burgundian Conquest of Barois. So are they fighting against the Pope, man? Nope. Not going to do that. Nope. 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 Screw you, Austria. Now you've made me mad. You called me in on a war that is against my ally because the AI has a tendency to do that annoying garbage. Yeah, anybody can have access if they want it. I'm not going to break my alliance with Pope, man. I need Pope, man. I really do need him. Protect trade Genoa. Go home at war. Keeping our relations up with Pope Man is important. Uh, I will actually do that. I know I said I'm trying to save up money. I am. I promise I am. But I want to get that uh, 100... Where are we at here? Here. Um, local autonomy. So Luca's autonomy is still, like, not low enough. Jeez. Luca. Guys, holding on for dear life. Are these guys not uh, hunting pirates? Looks like my pirate fleet got, uh, or my hunting pirate fleet got, got killed. Unfortunately. So did I get, um, I did. Oh, so dumb. Okay. Anyways, let's dev, let's dev those lands just so they don't, uh, lose my prosperity. It's a little trick you can do if you didn't know. And, uh, yeah, we're fine. I mean, devving admin is never, in, never like ideal, but it's fine. It's not a bad thing. We're not like... You know, going to lose because of it. So, this is actually good for me. Oh, this is actually really funny. How in the world did I manage this? Okay, this is so trippy. All we need to do... Is attack these guys. And, um... Yeah. Ah, okay. It's still going to apply. That's unfortunate. So, let's see here. Literally one siege pip. I've rolled one siege pip. I'm doing my best here. Let's get these guys occupied. And uh, Cleves, let's get up there and occupy him as well. Might as well get a general. Get our six six uh, maneuver general. He's very fast. Not good at fighting, but very fast. <laughs> uh, as long as I'm not getting uh, anybody on my lands, I don't particularly mind. So we're good. And uh, just like that... We are right around on time, and we are able to finish out an entire deer group, which is going to give us additional siege ability and construction costs. So take a look at this. Let's get our siege ability. Where are we at here? Uh, actually, it might be here, right? Siege ability, 37.5%. That's essentially the guns of urban. Look at that. 17-day siege ticks. Engineering is super good. It's uh, one of my favorite. It's definitely an S tier when it comes to idea groups expanded. Now, this guy's pretty old. But uh, the fact that um, we're getting back all of our Republican tradition is makes me feel a lot less uh, guilty about re-electing him. Plus, you get that fifty admin mana or fifty mana, fifty mana for free. Sorry, I had some ice cream. I got a little bit of indigestion from it. <laughs> I feel like an old man. The trading fair is here to give me a bunch of free modifiers. 
Let's uh, give that province to Austria. No, he doesn't want him, sadly. All right, Trent. Separate piece. Give me all your money and your trade power, I guess. That's fine. Whatever, dude. Um, Sure. Look at that. We get an event that's going to give us army tr or Republican tradition. Very good. Cleaves. Give me that money. Now we should get black flagged, right? Why am I not getting black flagged? Can I get black flag, please? Can I get black flag? What's going on? Why is my army over here? What a joke. What is this? Okay, I don't know. Anyways. So what I need to do here is I need to attack these guys and Austria not join in. So basically we just need... Oh my gosh, what in the world? That is a really big burgundy, actually. 33,000. They got 44,000. I think what I'll do here is I'll offer these guys Kondadiari. I have a truce with them because we broke alliance, I assume. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's understandable. All right. Very good. Let's get these guys over here and have them drilling. Get the rest of our boys grouped up. Keep them drilling. Very important. Plutocratic coup won't happen because as long as they're loyal, you don't have to worry about it. Very solid. Rock solid. And look at that. We take tech literally within three months of it becoming available. 100 innovativeness. So now we don't have to take it ahead of time. There's no benefit to taking it ahead of time. I'm not going to rival Pope Man, though. That would be really dumb. So, yeah, Austria being the emperor is uh, pretty problematic for us. Let's see here. Tunis no longer a valid rival. Unfortunate, man. So, Genoa, I want you guys to know that you suck and I hate you. And who else am I rival to? You guys, you also suck. I don't hate you as much, but you do suck. Now, I will um, embargo these lads as well. Very important to embargo them, especially if they share in your trade node. It should make us a little bit more cash. All right. So, our absolute... Our, our, um, What's that word? Autonomy is down, which is going to give us some bonuses. Very solid. Flourishing Florence. Good play on words there. That will give us construction cost and dev cost, as well as Grundacato, which will give us prestige decay and yearly Republican tradition. So how much Republican tradition are we gaining? 2.5. well I could upgrade Florence upgrade the center of trade I could upgrade this let me see here we have the Diplo so what I want to do actually is I want to build this guy here because what that will do is uh, that once we get our sculpt what, what is this thing called sculpture workshop it will allow us to have um... oh my gosh Let's go. Right. This happened last time as well. Stiopa actually said he thought it was going to get done. So basically what that is, is that scales off my my monarchs or our leaders uh, points. And since we have a 666, you get 666. But he said that it was going to be fixed. Uh, but it looks like I'm playing before it gets updated. So I guess we're just going to have to get the uh, extra bonus free things. Look at these goods produced. Once this marble stuff happens, we're going to be really in a good spot. We produce over half the world's mercury in just this province. Now, yeah, pizza produces like a third. Yeah, al almost a third of the world's olives. Just in Pisa. This little province. It's incredible. Croatia declared war on Venice, huh? Uh, why? Well, that's pretty good. I think we're going to take Ravina. Okay, no, no, no. Don't be silly. We're not going to be... Let's see here. I just wait till we get mill access. There you go. Get over onto Milan. I'm losing sieges or losing battles. They still have 17 galleys, so... 
Yeah, we can't we got we can't be reckless. They are still gonna be like super strong. I'm gonna be maxing out on admin mana here. Uh, and we're 12 years ahead of time, so I guess what I'm gonna do here. Look at that. I don't care. And uh, we'll be able to click these buttons pretty soon here. Here we go. Get these guys all occupied over here. All I want is Ravina. I think that's, you know, rightful clay, right? And if I wanted to, I could probably come up here and re release like a, a vassal or two. I don't know. I don't think we'd get much uh, reconquest from it. So probably not. I don't know. I will loot a little bit, though. Cheap trader guy. Thank you. Speaking of. Look at that. Look at that development, man. So these guys here, you can see now we're going to get a bonus. Trading in uh, marble sculptures, which gives us 15% great projects upgrade cost. So this is now only 1875. We realistically will be able to get almost all of that from just this war alone. Uh, no, not really, but we will be able to get a decent chunk of money in this land or in this war. All is well, man. Yes. Keep my prestige going up. Even if we lose it, we're still gaining a ton. So all is well. Not bad. One growth. We're continuing our um, our theme of one province gained per episode, right? So let's see here. That's here. This is going to give trade value modifier. So I think I will also stack these buildings up as well. Now... Hmm. Where is leather? Leather is 14. Okay. Optics is 9. Okay. Just looking around at what we have available to us. I do have a value cannon, so I should probably get you, right? Value cannon would be useful. So let's build our value cannon. If you don't know, the value cannon is the one cannon that you build that, uh, because you get the plus one to all sieges no matter what. It's a very solid, uh, cannon. It's really good, uh, bang for buck, so to speak. This is money, yearly prestige. Nah, not worth it. Since we gain over two and a half a year anyways. All right, so let's get these guys over here. Essentially, I just want these guys to uh, get ganked. So these guys will head in and then these guys will group up on them and uh, we'll wipe his army out. So I suppose what we need to do here is I really hate the automatic grouping here. Let's get another five and then six. And I think maybe with that number, we might be able to make something happen over there. Hard to say. Probably not, though. But, uh, I mean, realistically, we could just sit on this war and their war exhaustion will keep going up. Let's uh, scorch this province here and see if we can bait that nine stack out of there. But yeah, we're making really good money now. Incredibly good money. Good money. We have the war goal. So we have ticking war score. Their uh, exhaustion is going to keep going up. Oh, here's a free army, a free navy here to beat up on. So let's uh, come on out. They have no admiral either. And they're really fast, apparently. Sadly, man. Feels bad. All right, let's get these guys over here. Basically, I want them to blockade me. Uh, let's go with dev cost. Level three is fine. We got uh, control of the church, which will give us morale of armies and Republican tradition again, up to three. Master of the Mint level two is hired. Uh, that will allow us to get a um, couple of bonuses here. Yeah, mercantilism is solid. 20 light ships, we can do that in time. Uh, unrest, devastation, separatism, less than one. And uh, prosperity, okay. So we don't have we do have some unrest. We have no devastation. We do have prosperity. So what is this basically? The issue is the separatism is going to be an issue as well. Because that will be around for a little bit longer. Especially over here in uh, Siena. Be like five years. So 
Yeah, so it's 5.5, so it's actually, it's a times two, so it's actually 11 years. So, that's a tougher one, but it's okay. So let's get these guys over here, and then detach the light ships, because obviously they're on missions, and let's get these guys over here and just see if we can uh, coerce them into going into port. Okay, looks like we're beating up on their ships. I'm going to dock up. We, we beat them by six ships. Holy smokes. Let's repair and then head on out here. Sink those guys' ships. Very good. Head on back in here. Get the repair. And uh, we are on Venice, just so you guys know. Not bad. So with that, we can also probably put a little something else in the peace deal. War reps, that's fine with me. That's a really good deal. That's a lot of money we're going to be getting from them. Ravenna is ours as well. So we're actually really close to finishing up this state as well. Uh, I don't think I actually got claims on it. So I'm really hoping that I can get into a war that, with these guys eventually. But it doesn't look like it. Yeah, the trust that we had with them is gone, basically. Trust with these guys got hurt quite badly from our war with them. Let's uh, spend some favors on boost and trust up with them. Let's see here. You guys want to give me some um, manpower is good. I'll take your manpower. And uh, again, get your armies over there. Pull these guys into port. No reason to have them there. Have these guys drilling in the new province. And again, build up the force limit. Always stay at force limit if you can. We have the money, so I will actually just build cannons instead. Uh, you don't need cannons this early on, but uh, you do get bonuses to your sieges, so it's not a bad thing. I'll take the tech cost. Always take the tech cost. We're ahead on admin, so I'll just spend the admin mana. It's fine. I don't care. All right. A little bit longer of an episode, but we had to finish our once, uh, once per episode one province grab here in Italy. <laughs> so that means we'll be able to form Italy by around episode 30 or so. But uh, that is kind of the gist of how it is to play in Italy. Admittedly, I'm taking my time. We are playing uh, lots of dev and uh, I kind of enjoy it. I like a little slow pace. So hopefully you guys enjoy a little bit of a slower pace as well with a little bit of maybe more action, but a little bit slower uh, growth because I think it's a nice difference. I mean, obviously right now we're playing some Persia. So if you're not watching that campaign, I recommend you check that playlist out as well. Uh, but we are playing very wide and very, um, like, militarily oriented in Persia. So it's nice to change the pace up and do some slow development gameplay. Hope you guys appreciate it. I know I do. If you do, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. They're all linked in the description as well as my Patreon. Guys, if you like what I do and you want to support me, Patreon is the best way to do it. But that's all I got for you today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.